Hi everybody, this is Brandon from L Plus H2 Support, and today I'll be showing you how to install the printer drivers on your Windows computer. You can install the driver by plugging in the USB drive included in the package with your printer, or just download it by clicking on the printer driver for Windows button below. I'll just go ahead and click on the printer driver for Windows button. Once downloaded, the file will show up at the bottom if you're using the Chrome browser. If you're using Internet Explorer or Firefox, it'll show up on the top right corner of your page. If you're unable to find where the file was downloaded, you can always just right click on this and choose Save Link As or Save Target As. Then you can choose where you want the file to be downloaded to. Or you can save it on your desktop. Once you open the file, go ahead and double click on the driver. Just unzip the folder and open it. Then, double click LH560 installation for Windows. So, I'll just go ahead and click on Run. Click OK. And follow the prompts. Click on Install, and Finish, and Finished. Your driver for the printer is now installed. The next step is going to be actually setting your label size. If it's going to be something different than 4 by 6 inches, which is roughly 100 by 150 millimeters, to do that, just go ahead and open your Start menu and Control Panel. Next, go to Devices and Printers. Make sure that your printer is connected and turned on. You should see a printer called LH560. Right click and choose Printing Preferences. Under the Layout tab in Advanced, pick the label size that corresponds to the label that you currently have. Most 4x6 shipping labels are 100 by 150 millimeters, so that's the default size. If you have a label that's longer or shorter, you can choose the correct size from here. If your label is none of these sizes, I'll show you how to create it a bit later on in this video. For now, I'm going to choose 100 by 150 and click OK. Now head over to the Page Setup tab at the top. The speed drop down menu indicates how quickly labels will print. If you have a label that is lower quality and it's coming out a bit unclear, reducing the speed can help increase the clarity. The density will factor how light or dark your label will print. The default number is 8. If you need a darker print, try number 9 and go up in small increments. So, if your labels are printing too faded, you can increase it to 10, 11, or 12. Try not to go too high as this can cause the label to get stuck inside the printer. If your label is coming out too dark, just lower the density to get a lighter print. Orientation is the direction that your label is printing. So if you find that your labels are printing sideways, you can rotate the label here. In position adjustment, you can tweak your label to print a bit to the left or the right. You can enter negative or positive values in the millimeters in this section. To create a custom label size, say your label is 60 millimeters by 40 millimeters. Under Stock, click New and enter that information in here. You can also name your new label size here. So, we'll name this 60 by 40 millimeters. Now click OK. Now go back to Printing Preferences and choose Advanced under Layout, and your newly created size is going to be one of the available options to choose from. Now in the downloaded zip file or on your USB stick, you'll find a PDF file named Sample Label. I'll open that right here. For optimal printing, you're going to want your file to look like this. It's showing in the right direction, has no extra white on the sides, and is in a 4 by 6 inch format. When you open your label file in Adobe Reader, select LH560 as your printer, and you can see a preview of how your file will print. So just make sure that under Page Size and Handling, the buttons are set to Fit 
and this checkbox is unchecked. And under orientation, select auto. Now, please bear in mind that the printer can't read what's on your screen. So if you see a small label on your screen with a lot of white space, you'll need to manually crop the label from the page. To do this, you'll need Adobe Reader, which you can download free using the link below. On this page, you'll see a file that is not optimized for printing. If I were to print it, it would shrink the entire page into my paper and the actual label would be way too small. So I'll now click Cancel. First, I want to rotate the page and get my label in the right direction. So I click View and rotate clockwise until the label is right side up. Now in order to crop the label, I'll click on Edit and take a snapshot and then click and drag over the label. This is a notification that Adobe has saved the highlighted area. Now if you go to print, the preview will show you only the area that you selected. The cropping process is only necessary if your labels do not come in a 4x6 format. If they do, you can just hit print and you should be fine. If you still have questions or are unsure about something, please refer to our support page or our technical support team which can be reached via the links above or below or via the chat button on our website. We're ready to help you with any questions you might have. Thank you for watching.